Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I know there are some questions about what to expect now that our course is online. So I wanted to make a very quick video to show you um, how to navigate some different things that you can expect to see um, over the next few weeks. And I'll just jump in and let you see what that looks like. When you go into our Canvas page, you're gonna notice that there are a few changes to the measurement module. First of all, we've lost a week of instruction and I combined two of the weeks together so that way we can still have the same content but in an abbreviated way. If you notice that we will not have a binder check anymore, so our normal schedule of what we did is going to change quite a bit. So I'm going to give you an introduction of what that looks like. If you click on week nine, which is this coming week, we will have estimating and converting units of measurement. The way it will typically um, go is that you will have some videos to watch and some readings to give you some background information. Then there will be some activities for you to explore what, um, what the different topic was for that week. So with measurement exploration, you're not turning anything in. This is an opportunity for you to just explore. I highly suggest that you get some family members involved or roommates and make this a fun activity. In the past, when I've taught this online, a lot of people um, really enjoy this part, particularly because there's no expectation for you to turn anything in so you can make it as fun as you want it to be. Next, estimating measurements. This is um, a time for you to ch check your own understanding on customary and metric units of measurement. Once again, this is not for a grade, but it, I do highly encourage you to complete this because pretty soon you will be turning things in for a grade and this is going to help you. So activity four, this is something that you will turn in for a grade. And if you are used to Google Docs or um, if you have somebody that can help you with Google Docs, that would be really helpful. But if you just click on it, you're gonna notice that you can come here and you can highlight, or in this case, I'd already highlighted, um, a portion of this page and you can just come over to File and you're gonna make a copy or download it and save it however you wanna do it um, once you have all your answers in there. And then you're gonna come over here and you're going to upload your assignment. This will become available tomorrow at um, midnight so that way you can see it then. So we'll go back to this next week's and the very last thing you're going to do is take a quiz over these different topics for measurement. So it's really important that you engage in all of the activities. Make sure that you watch every single one of the videos and take any notes that you need to. Now remember, you will not have a binder check, so I will not be checking your notes. I will not be checking homework, um, but what I will be checking is the activities that you turn in. So for this coming week, it'll be activity four, and you'll still have your quiz with activity five. Now, if you'll notice on the home page, some people did want to work ahead. So I've heard different things from different people. I don't want to completely overwhelm you. So I will give you an opportunity to work ahead, but I'm only going to give you two weeks at a time. So by the end of this coming week, I'll have um, week 11 available, but you'll notice that I have this week's available and next week. So next week is area and perimeter. Once again, you have videos to watch, things to read in your textbook. And this one is a little bit different because there's going to be a discussion board post. So this time you're gonna complete an activity. You're gonna post your answers by Wednesday, April 1st. Then by Sunday, you're gonna have to pick two of your classmates to respond to their answers. This is a way for me to get you to have some opportunity to collaborate um, with different people in the class. So whenever you post and let's say you agree with somebody, don't just say, I also got that answer. 
because that's not going to tell anybody um, how you were thinking about the problem. You may have gotten the same answer, but approach the problem in a different way. So it's important to talk about how you approach the problem. And let's say you disagree with somebody's answer. Type why you got a, the different answer. How did you solve the problem? Maybe um, that person has a misconception you can help them with, or maybe you have a misconception that they can help you with. So this is an opportunity for us to have some collaboration that we've gotten very accustomed to in our class. Then you're going to notice that you will turn in an assignment for activity three um, and using our GeoBoard app again. You'll have another um, activity here. You will not turn this in, but these particular problems are going to be very helpful to prepare you to solve questions on your quiz for that week. So going back to our home page. What I'm going to add here that I haven't done yet, and I will also put it in the email, is my WebEx page. Now let's say you're going through this and you have questions and you just want to talk to me. I'm going to be available during our class time on Tuesdays starting at 4 o'clock. So I will be online in my WebEx room from 4 o'clock to 5 o'clock every Tuesday. Um, I'll just keep my webcam on and I will be working on different things. Um, feel free to pop in, ask me any questions that you need to, and then you can get right out. It's not a formal time where everybody has to meet, but I did want to make myself available to you. Um, if that time doesn't work, shoot me an email and I would be happy to meet with you at another time as well. If you have any questions, please keep me updated. I want to make sure that you are successful in this course and I will do whatever I can to help you.